With a possible government shutdown less than a week away, defense leaders say the nation will remain protected, but service members may end up doing that defense work without being paid. Elsewhere, training operations could be curtailed, which will affect long-term readiness. Efforts to support Ukraine may also be hampered. A shutdown puts the government on a complete standstill, said Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh during a discussion today with the Pentagon Press Corps. But the U.S. military is going to continue to do its job and protect our national security interests and those of our allies and partners as well. While the nation will remain safe, there will be challenges to the young service members who provide that security, to their families, and to the long-term readiness that comes from the training that keeps them combat ready, Singh said. A shutdown would be detrimental for the department, she said. Troops would go without pay. Military families would be impacted, of course. For folks that are not getting paychecks, that impacts how and when they can buy groceries, child care, all of these things. Commissaries would be closed on bases. So, we are still. We're hoping that Congress can reach a deal to avert a shutdown, but we are planning for that or taking steps to plan for that, should a shutdown occur. While national security will be maintained during a shutdown, Singh said, readiness will suffer as the training operations that keep service members sharp are curtailed. When you don't have your full operating capacity, to be able to help with a mission, to be able to conduct an exercise or training, of course, that gets to our national security and readiness, she said.